Hello, everybody. I bet you're all asleep. That's where I should be. I'm getting better at this 3.30 in the morning thing. It is 4.24. I'm getting ready to pull up into the driveway. Hey, I'm tagged out. I don't know what this feeling is. It's crazy. I've never done this before. But it feels pretty nice. And now... I'm like a free turkey hunting guide with only two ever turkey kills. <laughs> I am going back up on the hill. I'm not going to go as far. I'm not going over to the gully yet. And I'm not going to the top. I'm taking my dad and we're going to what I call the basin. And uh, on on uh, what day was it? Saturday. I had a, a turkey gobble three times um, in this area. And then last night I went up to roost the turkeys. Still learning how to do that. And uh, I heard one gobble in kind of the same vicinity. And I think if we get up there and get kind of close, we're going to give it a shot. See if we can bring him over. And uh, if he decides to start headed uphill, we're gonna try to cut him off at the pass. So we've got a little bit of a game plan. And uh, I told dad, meet me at 4.30. It's 4.25 now and I'm, I'm pulling in. And I hope that he uh, shows up as well. And we can see if we can uh, make this happen. Let's at least hear, hear a gobble and uh, get a little bit of action. That would be awesome. All right, pulling in, and we'll hope that the uh, fun is about to happen. Stay tuned. It is 427, and I am waiting on my dad to show up. Told him 430. He's got three minutes. Can start counting down. No, we won't start counting down. He's going to come. Or he's going to send me a text message that says, sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't think so. Today. He's going to come, and we are going to go up this hill, and we are going to try to shoot a bird. All right, I got Dad with me, and we are on the move. We sat at one tree forever. Well, not forever, but long enough. We've been hearing one gobble about seven or 800 yards away. And I said, let's go chase him. So we're going to head that way. It's the killer right there. He's ready. We'll go see if it, we can at least get closer. Yeah, it was an awful early morning. He was dragged down a bed, but I'm ready to get one with him. <laughs> okay, so we're headed over into the gully. I think he's down on a ridge point, and uh, hopefully we can we can uh, make it happen. Stick around. Well, that's the end of that one. We got up there, we heard one gobbling across the main road on uh, private. And uh, we moved down because we heard one uh, two or three times gobble. It sounded like it was down in the gully, like I said. But uh, never did hear it again. So I said, hey, let's go ch change change venues we're gonna go up to your property is it okay so we got down to the truck and dad says i'm good for today so it, it can be frustrating sometimes you don't hear them or you figure you're not gonna get one and so you just kind of hang it up i know what that's like so i told him next time see how we do um I gotta find one that's really responding, I think, to get get him back out. I know my father-in-law just picked up tags and he kinda wants to go, so I might give him a call a little bit, see if we can do like the the mid-morning into early pre pre-noon hunt and go up on dad's property, see if we can locate one. Or the state land below him, because I know they're up there. So that might be 
later on. We'll see. Today's kind of been a bust. It's a little windy. Took my dad up earlier and now I've got my father-in-law and we've been scouting a different spot. Um, and we just decided we'd set up ground blind. We got our blind over here kind of brushed in, pushed into the bank or to the back here with the bushes around it. And uh, it's kind of on a point. So there's a field edge this way down here. And there's another one this way over here. And we're hoping that they'll circle up around. And when we actually, when we got here, we had a hen right over here in the cornfield about 60 yards or so from where the blind is and she uh when when we came in she took off up over the top here and popped into the corner so we're hoping it's supposed to be rainy uh as you can see the clouds here it's been sprinkling off and on so the game plan is oh dark 30 in the morning be out here try to be in the blind by five and uh hopefully they get wet tonight and they come into the field to dry off and come out here into this uh area to get some bugs and get uh some breakfast and try to chase the ladies down so that's the plan we're gonna bring the old trusty mossberg 935 out tomorrow and try to slay the bearded dragon all right, that's that. Tomorrow's another day. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, May 5th, and it is 429, and I'm driving down. I gotta drive all the way over to get my father-in-law, Bill. Good thing he lives two doors down. He is coming out, I think, right now. I told him 430, and he is being punctual. I mean, I don't want to say the reason why people get late to places, but if he's coming right out on time and somebody else isn't coming with him, there might be a reason. <laughs> don't tell don't tell my mother-in-law I said that. No, that's not always the case. We all know that. I can make us late too sometimes. Right, Joy? Anyways, he's coming out and we are headed over to my nephew's farm. I, uh, if you watched the last video, um, we kind of did a scouting slash setup trip. We went and popped a blind up because my father-in-law told me the other day, it was supposed to rain Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And so I didn't really look into it because I figured he knew what he was talking about. Well, I looked at the weather, uh, today and it says like 4% chance of rain all day long. <laughs> so I don't think it's supposed to rain but we got ourselves a blind set up anyways right on a field edge and I think it could produce. So we're gonna head over got a little bit of a drive like 15 minutes or so and uh, get us up parked next to the field get the car hidden kind of and then we're gonna head over get in the blind and hunker down for a little while. So I thought I was gonna get him getting in the car on video, but he's headed back inside. I don't know what he forgot, but he doesn't need a gun cause he's taking mine. It's the, the bearded turkey slayer. <laughs> this week anyways, it never has been before, but I think it likes its new uh, occupation. All right, maybe we'll get a little uh, video of Bill in a little while. See you in a bit. So this is our decoy setup. We got a hen and a Jake, and that coyote is eyeballing him. Where is he? Right there. Oh, there he goes. He's running off to the left. Where is he? Just over the corner on the rise there. Oh, there, he is right there. Yeah, he turned and was kind of eyeballing him.
he's looking at those decoys like I don't know. Sneak around the side and then pop back this way. Okay, it's six o'clock. We haven't heard anything gobble yet. We've seen a coyote. And uh, my father in laws on the on the trigger today and he's ready to shoot him. So we're just uh, anticipating a good hunt. And so far, we've heard songbirds. And we've seen a coyote wanting to eat our decoys. <laughs> so hopefully he gets out of here and the, the real birds come in and see the decoys and want to come check them out. And then we'll hopefully have some action. So stick around and we're going to get back to this hunt, watch the sunrise, and hopefully get some birds coming out to the field. All right, stay tuned. It's about quarter after seven and we haven't heard a thing so told my father-in-law what he's been saying well you know if we don't see anything by this time or hear anything I wouldn't be too disappointed if we just packed up so I said I'll pack everything up you go sit over on the edge maybe he'll have some luck and uh, then we're gonna drive through some, do some road, road uh, calling on the way home maybe, through some state land, see if we can strike something up. You never know. It's Tuesday, so maybe they had a day of break yesterday from most of the people hunting them and, and uh, maybe they'll be ready to call. But we'll see. So we'll tear everything down and get packed up. All right, I got you on camera now. Yeah. Yeah. Packing out. Walk our way across the field, get to the car, and go road hunting. <laughs> See if we can get at least one to talk back to us. We'll feel like we're successful. Right now, we're feeling like we should have slept in. <laughs> oh. Back to the usual feeling of turkey hunting. Yeah. It's all right. <sighs> There's yeah, always next the turkey time. Turkey I have in the freezer looks a lot better. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good old butterball. Yeah. Yeah, I was uh, uptown the other day, and uh, I said something about I was going to be going hunting. And the guy said, just go down to Wagman's. <laughs> so, that's where he said he gets his turkeys. <laughs> yep. I've heard other people say that too. 
Yeah, well. They don't understand the sport of it. Right. Well, someday maybe you won't be able to get a turkey at Wagmans. Got to be able to figure it out on your own. All right, well, we're headed to the car and down the road. So we just got a little tidbit of information or idea or a note. I don't know what you want to call it. I've been searching for my GoPro for like two days. I was going to take it up uh, this morning on a hunt. It is really super windy. Look at that stuff. Anyways, I was going to take it up on a hunt this morning and can't find it. Search everywhere. Search everywhere. Search everywhere. Cannot find it. The last thing I knew, I remember when I had my father-in-law Bill out at my nephew's property and uh, I had it that day. I was trying to figure out what to, I could do with it to set it out to get a cool shot. So I thought, maybe. So I came up here and uh, I prayed about it beforehand. Let it be up there, Lord. And I came up and I came across the field searching everywhere that I thought we were. And I got over here and this is what you see right and uh, this bush was right like this and I'm like oh, it's not anywhere and then I move this right here and there it is thank you Lord I don't want to lose that I'm just learning how to use the thing oh, that is great 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 okay Take care of your stuff. If you got something that's worth some money, or even if it's not worth a ton of money, take care of it. I had it in my turkey bag, in my uh, my vest in the back. And it must have, when I was putting the decoys in or when I grabbed it out when we were leaving, it must have flopped out. So I gotta secure my equipment better. I gotta make sure I have it and know where it is because I don't wanna lose my gear. All right, hopefully y'all learn from my mistakes. Or I'll learn from my mistakes, hopefully. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, it is Thursday. I don't think I videoed anything yesterday. And I probably should have. I went with a buddy out to do some scouting uh, up on his dad's property and we popped up a ground blind. He said he's not much at sitting against trees uh, and being still. So we did a ground blind up where the turkeys have been tearing it up. There's scratchings everywhere. He's got a, uh, up on the high point of his dad's property is all oaks and it's, uh, it's thrashed pretty good. So he said he was in there two weeks ago for a youth hunt and had some gobbler going off and uh, but he's been up there since and hasn't had any action but we're going to give it a shot anyways so I'm headed up there and uh, linking up with him and seeing what can uh, if we can strike anything up or we're going to sit there and just hear if we hear anything in the roost first and then we're going to go from there so hopefully you guys watched uh, my video that I put up yesterday but not many people have watched it yet, so maybe you haven't. Um, so that's up there. Uh, both both turkey kills are up there. Um, and the one with the my second turkey that I got that I had uh, called him in, he circled around me. So I'm pulling into the access road to his parents' place, and hopefully we'll be linking up with him in a little bit. We got a full moon. It's bright out there, and uh, it is 4.53 right now. I told him I wanted to be in the blind at five, and he said, in the blind at five? So I said, fine, be at your parents at five, and then we will get up there. So hopefully he's already there, and we can bust our way up through and, and get in place. I'm not too sure about the ground blind hunting for turkeys yet. And I haven't, like I said, I haven't really scouted up here much, except for yesterday with him just a little bit. Uh, tried doing the roosting thing, 
didn't happen. So we're kind of going in blind, but we did have a lot of a sign from them scratching in the leaves. So uh, it looks like I am the first one here. So we'll wait him out and we will get up there as soon as he gets here. All right, everybody, um, that's that. So we'll see you in the blind. All right, it's quarter after five. We are almost in place. We got a beautiful sunrise coming up. Red sky in the morning, turkey stick morning. Something like that. Got the turkey slayer over here. Hoping so. That's right. All right, Graham. Dad's about to kill a turkey. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> or maybe they have a calendar and they know what's up. They definitely have alarm clocks. <laughs> right. So, we're going to cut into the woods here and uh, snuggle down for a little wait time and see if we hear a turkey. We'll let you know. We will let you know. All right. The turkey's got the script. We got to the blind at 520. As we were getting in to get our gear around, we got a gobble about four or 500 yards away. It is 527 now. And we're going to try to see what we can do. Got the decoys out in front of us at about like 10 or 15 yards. We had to change up some window openings. And uh, he's right next to a field edge. And we're on the other side of the hardwoods on another field edge. So I'm afraid he might fly the other way. But if he hears somebody that he's interested in, maybe he'll come take a peek. Uh, so we'll see what happens. And y'all stay tuned, and we're going to hopefully be bringing a, another turkey kill to you. All right. See you in a bit. It sounds like we got two or three gobblers. One over this uh, little crest in front of us, and then one behind us to the left, the one that we were hearing initially. Oh yeah! So it's sounding pretty exciting. We're just hoping that they play the game. We've uh, called a couple times real light, like we're up in the tree. I really wish I had a wing to make a fly down sound, but I don't, and I don't want to screw it up. So. They've been using this area a lot. We're just hanging. Um, gonna see what happens. We're really hoping that one of these decides to come this way. It'd be awesome if they both get to come this way and Ian has to decide which ones he wants to shoot. It's a tough choice. I'd say shoot the close one. The biggest one. Oh, yeah. the biggest one. Hopefully the biggest one's the closest one. Okay. 
We're just waiting for a fly down. And then we'll hit them with the, the hammer. I don't know what the hammer is, but we'll hit them with it. They're going to find out. Right? Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to find out. All right. Stay tuned. It's happening. It's right at six o'clock. They're still gobbling. Sounds like they're still in the tree. I haven't heard a fly down yet. Oh. I think we just heard a hen, but I'm not sure. And we're just really hoping that they make it down this way. We've been trying to sing sweet nothings to them. Just a little bit. Hoping they're lovesick enough to come take a look. We got the leaves rustling in here. A little bit of calling. And, uh, I'm just ready. field was looking a little too tempting to him.
620. Those birds went the other way. There's a field over right over here. We're going to go slowly over that way and see if they're out there and maybe we can bring them back to the woods. Had a feeling they were going to head that direction, but we tried our best to bring them back to us. They hit the ground and shut up and heard a hen over that way, so they're probably just chasing her down. But if we go over on that, that edge after she uh, gets in her nest, they might come right back over this way to us. So We're going to say goodbye to the ground blind over here and hello to the sitting next to a tree. The sun came up, it was beautiful. But pretty awesome this yeah. morning. They were going crazy. A lot, a lot of, of activity. Fun. A lot of activity. It was really fun. Time to go kill something. Let's go. Enough reminiscent of the awesome hunt so far and go kill that something. That we haven't. That we haven't had. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're calling it for the for now. We got we got the blind set up over there. And we're pretty much we're about three or four hundred yards from some huge oak trees that are their roost trees over there. Um, and we heard a hen at one point. I never heard them fly down, but you don't always, I guess. And they took off up over the field. There's an old cornfield over there and a hay field. And, they, they had it uphill like they usually do. So, that was that. We're going to leave this here. This area is all tore up. Um, turkey scratchings everywhere. So, we're going to leave the blind up. And Ian's going to bring Anson, and his son, up later, possibly. If he's out of bed. <laughs> right, he's uh, on the quarantine school schedule. And, uh... So, they're going to come back up and use that blind, and the turkeys are going to end up in this area at some point today. So I'm just tearing the decoys down, and I've got video footage of Dad and I going out, and my father-in-law and I going out, and Ian and I going out. I might just put them all together when I took Dad and Bill out. There wasn't a whole lot of action. This one, we at least had a bunch of turkeys gobbling and everything, so. Anyway, it's, uh, it was, we were feeling pretty confident this morning. Ian says, don't be confident next time. Not as confident. Not as confident. Yeah. What did you say on the way in? Uh, red sky in the morning. Something about turkeys, turkeys staying yeah. safe all day long. Yes, I think that's what it was. <laughs> Hunters are in mourning, I think is what it yeah, was. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we, uh, we had fun. It's good to hear them gobbling. I think that's what we said last night. Man, at least if we hear one gobble, we'll feel success. So it was a successful outing. We heard a bunch of gobbles. Today. A lot of gobbles. Really cool. At least three turkeys or toms over there that were gobbling. So it was fun. It was good to get out with a buddy. You know, we were obviously social distancing inside the ground blind. I was all the way in one corner and he was in the other one. We did have masks. We on, did have so masks. We, we had did our masks. part. Keeping everybody safe. That's right. So that's what it's about. And uh, it's about time for Ian to kill a turkey. I got to drive to Buffalo, so we'll have to go get video footage of it dead at his house later on. That's Maybe. that. I'm looking for a steak. I have one. You got one in the back. Oh, yeah. I already put it back? I think you did, yeah. What a good, good job. It is. I saw that. See that? All right. Four okay. eyes are better than two. That's true. That is true. All right. Well, thanks for tagging along with us. Ian might be in a future video or two or three or whatever. Maybe even during deer season. But maybe we'll get out again for turkeys so we can fill a second tag. Well, that's why they give you two, you know? That's right. 
just in case you didn't get the first one on video. Right. That's why. The first one definitely wasn't on video. It hasn't been, yeah. Anyways. All right. I'm missing the back of my... You guys are seeing me struggle. All right, everybody. I'm helping, too. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, we love you, and God loves you, and we will see you on the next one. Have a great one. See ya.